Hello everyone and welcome to this PMDG Boeing 737 for Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial. I am Emmanuel, I am a real-life Boeing 737 pilot and a member of the PMDG tech team. The software that you see here is in a pre-release beta state, so do not expect everything to be 100% functional at uh, this very point. And if you do see anything wrong, you can be rather sure that the PMDG team knows about it already and is working to fix it. Alright, we continue where we last left off with the B4 taxi checklist completed and we're now ready to taxi. Now before we start taxiing, I would like to give you a little bit of basic information about taxiing the Boeing 737. There are a couple speed limits in place which I'm going to tell you about here and that is on aprons don't exceed 15 knots, in sharp turns don't exceed 10 knots and on straight taxiways the limit is 30 knots. When you are backtracking a runway, you can go all the way to 50, and whenever you are moving on a contaminated surface, the limit is 5 knots. Also something about the steering technique for this airplane, you have to keep in mind, you are sitting several meters in front of the main wheels, and you are even sitting in front of the nose wheel here. So, if you want to steer the airplane and keep the center line of the taxiway in the middle between the two main gears, you need to overshoot a little bit with your nose wheel. Now the longer bodied airplane you are flying, the greater this overshoot has to be. So if you are flying a 737-900 for example, it will be a lot more than in a 737-600. Now with this set, let's actually start making our way towards the runway. We have just pushed back from 3-2 uh, left here in Stansted and uh, uh, depart Romeo is Romeo 22, so our taxi is going to lead us via Bravo, Hotel, and then Romeo all the way to the holding point. So that is basically straight ahead, then drawing the taxi over here to the right, and then to the holding point of the runway. Once our taxi instruction is understood, we'll minimize the chart again to get uh, the best view possible. Turn on the turn off and taxi lights, release your parking brake. And now some of you will know that in the fancy Airbus aircraft you'll have this nice takeoff config check. You do have the same in the 737, just move the thrust levers forward for a short while to about 70% N1. And if you don't hear any warning, then you are all good for takeoff. So we're going to do this now. Config. Now in order to get the aircraft moving, use anywhere between 30 and 40% of N1, and that is more than sufficient to get the airplane rolling. Don't use more than 40% N1, otherwise you're creating a serious hazard to ground personnel. Once you've accelerated to a good speed, just bring the thrust back to idle, and the airplane will just very slowly decelerate, but it's mostly going to hold its speed. If we're going back to idle now, you'll see we're going at about 13 knots here. We just went uphill a little bit, lost two knots of speed. Steer it very gently while you're following these taxiways. And again, just don't take it too fast. If you're going straight for a long line, 30 knots is totally fine. But if you're maneuvering around like we are right now, then 10 knots of speed is all you need. And even a little bit less like you have it now is no problem at all. You see, in all those turns, we are losing a little bit of speed, so just bringing the thrust up a little bit, some 30% is going to give us that speed back. Now we are already reaching the holding point here. You can see how I'm oversteering the aircraft a little bit in order to keep the main gears properly on the center line.
When you're approaching the stop bar, you want to be sure that you're actually bringing the aircraft right up to the bar. So don't stop, for example, here. It's very hard to judge how close to the, the line you actually are. A good hint here is to go all the way until the line is just coming up on the side windows. Now if we're stopping here, we're going to set the parking brake and we'll turn off the taxi lights since we are not intending to move for the next minute or so. I'm just going to show you what it looks like from the outside. You see there is still a little bit of space left here when you're stopping the airplane. While from the flight deck it looks like you're almost over it. That's what I mean when I say that it's hard to judge the exact distance you have to the front. It is about 7.5 meters that you cannot see in front here when you are in a correct seating position. Now, taxi here was fairly short. Normally, you would start with the review of the takeoff briefing during the taxi, if you have the time. Otherwise, if you don't have the time, like right now with that short taxi, just go to the holding point, set the parking brake, and then do the takeoff review here. Now, the takeoff review is something we're going to do now, and I'll just go over it and you follow along. So it's going to be a left seat takeoff on Romay 22, flaps 5, noise abatement, departure procedure number 2. We're using the PAX Auto, bleeds on, with the anti ice off. Our takeoff speeds are 124, 125 and 130. Our initial climb is altitude 4000 feet. And we're going to contact departure control when advised by ATC. Our special engine out sit is taking us straight ahead 20 miles, pick up the hold in uh, 3000 feet. The squawk is in and that's reviewed. Let's then do the B4 takeoff checklist and then we are ready for departure. Before takeoff checklist, flaps 5, 5, green light, stabilizer trim. 6.6 .6 units set. Before takeoff checklist complete. Alright, that shall be it for this video. I'm looking forward to see you all on the next one when we will finally get flying.